everyone welcome back to another client watch me work i'm trying to do better at remembering to ask clients if i can film their nails lately um so just bear with me i'm trying to remember so i'm just doing another infill here of build a gel obviously because i only do gel services now so it's always going to just be build a gel infills or a gel polish application which to be honest i don't really do that often so i'm probably never really going to film that um, but let me do, let me do, do let me know if you're enjoying these Biab, Biab, Biab infill. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Um, yeah, just let me know if you're enjoying these videos, basically, and you'd like me to carry on with them. I'm really sorry about the sound of my throat right now. Like, it's really sore still. I don't know whether I meant, I think I have mentioned on my channel that I was unwell when I got back off holiday. Um, I've been back for a while now. I got back on the 2nd of August and today is the 18th. So it's been 16 days and I still have a sore throat and cough. Um, it's not COVID. I've tested a billion times um, and it's not that. So even though Luckily, it seems to be one of those things now that is just like one amongst many, whereas it used to be like if you were ill, then that's what you had. Like, Whereas now, I feel like we've gone back to a time where you can have something other than that wrong with you. Um, so I do feel like I need to go to the doctors, to be honest with you, because it could quite possibly be a chest infection. It's lasted quite a while now, but... I am anti-doctors, um, not because I have anything against them or anything. Like, it's not the doctors themselves I'm against, so I just... I don't like wasting people's time um and I know that sounds silly if there's something wrong with you but that's just the way I am I'm a, I'm a nightmare don't get me wrong I will go if I really need to but if I can cope without it I do try but anyway regardless this is a client set as you can see I am just taking down the length of these nails um this client wanted a glitter french with the tears beauty holographic lavender dust and it turned out beautifully it looked really really cute um so i just took down the length and a bit of the bulk because obviously if you take down the length your structure is going to change and blah 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 so apex moved and all that fun stuff um and then i did that with the penultimate bit from willow academy and now i'm just using the anastasia bit which is as you can see this like long cylinder ugh, cylinder style like bit i don't know how I'm, i don't know why i'm trying to like think of so many adjectives to describe this bit but there that this is what it looks like you can literally see it right in front of me i don't know why i'm trying so hard um and this bit is just perfect for cuticle pushing back basically and getting any dead cuticle off the nail plate so i'm just using this push back and then once i've done that we can get on with um sanding band time i think with a mandrill so i'm just using a 240 grit sanding band nothing too vigorous or anything i'm not putting any pressure on the nail i am literally just letting the sanding band do its job just as you would a hand file you wouldn't put loads of pressure on that you don't want to cause cause any heat um any friction or anything because obviously your client will really feel it and it's not very nice so no um pressure at all just letting it do its job just like you would with any other bit um so i'm just going over this i've sped it up now because it got really monotonous just i'm doing the same thing on every nail so you don't need to see it all in real time although it's not really a long process i suppose but you know still quite repetitive so i'm just using this to remind remove any shine making sure to go over the whole growth area where the new nail is and also over the builder gel area to make sure that the base coat sticks everywhere um and we've got a good adhesion and then i will shape i'm trying to think of the order i do things in i don't know why i can't suddenly think of it it's 10 to midnight and it's been a long week a long day <laughs> and i'm very much looking forward to going to bed and hope hopefully waking up feeling a little bit more fresh tomorrow because i feel a bit a bit rubbish today i'm not gonna lie so i'm just filing these into shape we're going for like a not quite oval but not quite almond like sort of in, in the middle i suppose i don't know i think everyone's got different perspectives of what shapes are so me personally i think these are too tapered to be oval but not tapered enough to be almond so they're whatever is in the middle of oval and almond how would you put those two words together Ove, almond, mund, ovemund, almond, oval, al, 
alveol. Oh, I don't know. It's obviously not a thing. I'm just making it up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm just applying base coat now. I'm going to do this, obviously, to all nails. So I apply base coat to the pinky. I, well, I apply base coat to all of the nails and I cure them all together. And then with Builder Gel, I only apply that to the fingers first and then pop that in the lamp. And then I'll apply it to the thumb and pop that in separate just to make sure everything's cured properly. Um, it's not worth having under cured product on the, the nails, obviously. We all know that that can cause real problems. And once you're allergic, there's usually no going back. So it's not really worth potentially making it happen. So do everything you can to avoid it. If I do get any on the skin, which I don't think I did at any point, but if I do, I make sure to remove it instantly, especially before it's cured. Um, so we're not curing product onto the skin, but obviously always try to make sure to avoid the skin as much as possible. Um, so if that means working a little bit slower, then by all means, do what is necessary. So I'm just popping my Build Gel on now. As you can see, this is Apricot from gel perfection and it's an absolutely beautiful color i use this all the time it's just stunning um so i'm just popping this on doing a thinner layer first and then as you can see here just adding a bit of a bit more bulk to it basically and then i'm using my striper brush to go over and move that around and manipulate it to where i want it popping any air bubbles along the way and then once I'm happy, obviously this hand can go in the lamp. I think I only showed two on camera, yeah. And then I've just removed the tacky layer because obviously we're going to be going in with a dust and I don't want it to stick everywhere. And then I'm going to paint on a French. I suddenly realised I was working like on an angle here, so it looks really odd and really wonky um, when I'm finished. It's not. <laughs> they were all absolutely fine. You can see, I think, in the end result that they're fine, but... I was sort of sat like leaning to the left of my phone so tilting my client's nail that way and didn't realize how strange that looked on camera but don't worry they were all as they were supposed to be um and then once I've done this I'm going to half cure this because gel perfections um gels don't really have much of a tacky layer so I half cure to make sure they are still tacky pop my dust on really burnish it into that tacky layer and then I pop make sure to pop the nails back in for another 30 seconds just to make sure it's got a full cure whether it's before or after glitter application as long as it's fully cured we're all good um and then once I've done that I base coat which I showed on camera and then I top coated off camera because it looked the exact same as base coat because they're both shiny um and then that's it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it something relatively plain and simple that looked really pretty I love these dust so anything that includes them I'm all over it um but yeah so thanks so much for watching please do let me know if you're enjoying these types of videos um I don't know what order I'm going to be putting them up in and stuff but I did film two today so I've got at least two on the go and then I am trying to actively remember to ask my clients more often if I can film their nails so fingers crossed it will become more routine and I'll just get used to asking people and it'll just be quicker and I'll be able to upload more basically so do let me know if you like them or not because if not it's a bit pointless me trying to get into the routine of asking people to, to film it if you don't want to see it anyway but yeah thank you so so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video bye